I have my lucky penny in my little hand here. This is going to save me gas mileage and uh, also could save me from a blowout. It's Brian Bowersock is here from West Escondido Automotive, and we're going to just find out what that means because we're going to talk tires today. We're talking about tires today, Joe. Yeah. All right. So what we're saying, now let's explain the penny. You, you have a, a better way of doing it, but the, the penny is the way we used to do it, I recall, in the old days, way back in the 90s and 80s. <laughs> way back in the 90s. 70s. <laughs> you can actually use a penny yeah. to see when a tire is worn out. If the top of Abe, Abe Lincoln's head shows, then the tire has less than uh, three thirty seconds of thread on it, or tread on it. I'm sorry, and uh, the tire's worn out. It needs worn to be out. You mean if it, if it sinks in all the way? You mean the, the this here? Well, I, for the, there's the penny. <laughs> you have to you put know, it I upside put them down. In, <laughs> upside down. Yeah, upside down. Upside down. Well, sure. Then there's nothing there. Is well, it? there's uh, three thirty seconds to the top of his head. Okay, as you as you pointed out. Absolutely. Before, when I, Absolutely. I was listening. I know. Just and seconds ago. That's how we used to do it in the old okay. days. You're right. You're right. All right. But so now we, you have a gauge. I have a gauge, which uh, we often use to uh, check tire depth and uh, on a vehicle. And what we're going to talk about today is a couple things. Can I get this for, gauge? Can I buy this gauge? Someplace? You can pick these up at almost any place, uh, Cragen, Napa, any place like that. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, exactly. All They're right. relatively cheap. A couple bucks, just like a tire pressure gauge. All right. Okay? Okay, you want those too. But this, uh, you know, now the tread, I didn't realize the tread actually has something to do with your mileage. Well, it can because obviously tires, when they're worn out, uh, don't grip the road well. Um, and you can have other issues with them out around uh, affects the driving of the vehicle and things like that. But more of a safety concern. You get a tire that starts to get down to uh, being worn out or cupped or has uh, steel cords showing in it, mm -hmm. you risk the possibility of uh, blowing a tire, tire out and obviously put you or your family in danger. Right, right. Um, I mean, you got to watch your kids' cars, too. you got to check on them because they don't always check them, especially if you have daughters, because I know I had them, and I had one daughter. I said, holy mackerel, so you can see air. I can see the inside you can of see the tire air. almost <laughs> yeah. on the side. Exactly. And I, I missed it, you know, because it was on the, uh, on the inside. Exactly. So, well, and we have anyway. a tire here just like that. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at, at one of these. Let's take tires. a look at one of these tires here. You can see this tire here has plenty of uh, of tread in the center. These are actually wear bar indicators that the tire manufacturers build in. Mm -hmm. uh, so when it gets close to the wear bar indicator, you know it's time to replace the tire. But if you look at on this tire here, this is on the inside. You can see where the steel cord is showing. Sure. Now the outside's also worn out on this. Um, this tire possibly was run low on air, plus having uh, some kind of alignment or front end problem because of wearing the inside off that bad. But on a vehicle, most consumers won't see this. And that's where, um, when you come into a facility like ours, um, we're always looking at the tires for you, and it's very important to let somebody know about this. Well, how often should I check the, uh, this every time I check the, t the air pressure? Well, as far as uh, looking at the tires, I take a look at them every time you air them up, correct? Yeah. Um, but whoever. When you're getting your vehicle serviced uh, every 3,000 to 5,000 miles as far as oil changes, uh, we inspect tires real closely. Um, this can be a very dangerous thing. Uh, we all know about the issues Ford had with their uh, um, uh, vehicles and tire blowouts. Yeah. So that's the uh, last thing dangerous. we want to have yeah, happen. That's not easy to see. It's exactly what I was talking about with my daughter. Correct. It's hidden now, under the fender. All right. How often should I uh, check the, t uh, the tire pressure? I'd recommend to check the tire pressure at least. Uh, um, once a month, if mm -hmm. not uh, every other because time. Because that does make a gas. difference in mileage and obviously wear on your tires. Absolutely, absolutely. Because these tires, if uh, under under pressurized like this one, um, wear on the outside and the inside stays just fine. Okay. What about alignment and rotation? Uh, alignment should be done at least every year or 30,000 miles. You should have your uh, alignment checked on your vehicle. Um, and then also, if somebody servicing your vehicle sees wear problems with the tires, it's a good idea to get the front end components checked, um, rest suspension stuff, and have yeah. the vehicle aligned. Now, what, now with this one, what, what is what is the problem? Is this alignment? Is this is this air? This is vehicle. Too, well, too there's two air? things going on on this thing. It most likely had too little air, but this vehicle also had an, uh, some kind of alignment or worn out component on the front end of the vehicle, causing it to uh, actually drag the tire and wear mm -hmm. the rubber right off of it. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, too much air, I'll bet. This tire had this too tire. much air. You see the center's all worn out, and it's down to the, the wear indicators that are mm -hmm. built into the tire. And that yeah. tire there, these folks had a definite alignment problem wow. with the tire. Ow. Yeah, watch your fingers Ow. there on that. That can hurt. Yeah. So you didn't the, tell me I couldn't touch it. Yeah, yeah don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'll know that from now on. But you run a serious risk of a blowout on a tire. Sure. 
Absolutely. you start having cords showing. Okay, hey Brian, thank you so much. So that's the idea. No get, get to West Escondido. It's certainly worth the trip. I don't care where you're coming from, because you know you're going to get everything that you should. There you go. Up there, Brian. Thanks again. Good man. seeing you, again, right, Joe. Good. Good driving with you. Good riding. All right, now Yiddish. It's not just for Jewish grandmothers anymore. We're going to show you coming up just how important it is in your daily vernacular when Sandy Living returns.